Now, what do we have here? Ladies and gentlemen from the States of America, we are gathered here today to bring in the beginning of a new era. And now the Speaker of the South, Jay Prince. Oh, yeah. Been a long time coming, but it finally came for Bun B to get his motherfucking shot in the game. I put more work in than the average trio nigga could put, and I'm a gangster from my head to my foot. Black of the hood, I got the hood behind me. The streets co side me, headquartered in the ghetto. Man, you know where to find me. The mission is laid out and the vision is clear. From this moment, I run the south and everything down here. They go for corners and cuts, trap spots and blocks. Whether it's rapping or work, I got the shit on lock. I ain't went on that. Back talking, sneak this in a place and I'ma tell you how I feel cause I'm a goddamn Texan Found time for me to start eliminating the fraud Cause it's a White House of cards Filled with nothing but broads We gon' run them hoes out and put some trio niggas in Cause what happened in New Orleans should never happen again They been sitting on their ass doing much about nothing for too goddamn long And I'm tired of the front I'ma instigate a change from the motherfucking top Cause this bullshit they pulling on my people gotta stop So I'm here to make a stand and take up the slack Dirty South Rest Easy I got your motherfucking back It's a new king on the throne And his crown is a hat They say free pimp C Now what's fucking with that? Hell to the chill, to the chill, to the chill, to the chill, Now back to the show You know, she was nice and all, but I know from experience, when someone offers you 12 windmills, there's a catch hidden somewhere. So you're telling me you trade windmills and not rings when you get married. What kind of magical, mystical land did you grow up in? Oh, you know, out where we all know that the early bird doesn't always get the worm. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. Speaking of that, what have you been up to? Feels like I haven't seen you in a year. What are you talking about? We literally just did something together three days ago. Oh. Well, look who finally showed up. Well, we would have been here sooner if someone had restrained himself. I think if I had gotten a few more moments with the door, I could have figured it out. What I don't get is why didn't you just open the door? Yeah, you know, the one thing I... Sh Excuse me for one second. No. Come, my friends, the day is a-wasting. Let us make haste for freedom land. Four by four animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. Will that be all? I'm a soul man. Now I am scared. This joke really doesn't work anymore. You know, you don't have to play this kind of music for me. Hey, Jack, how you been? I haven't moved from this spot since the last we spoke. It's a good thing we have a hidden monitor behind this desk. I do not know what I would do with myself if I was unable to watch my favorite movie, Old Boy. Sorry to hear that, but on the bright side, I brought some friends. Yo. Sup? Salutations. 
All right then, gun time. Let's see Paul Allen's concealed carry. Well, I don't know who Paul Allen is, but this is my concealed carry. Where, Where the, the fuck? fuck? Well, it's been nice seeing you again, and I hope that your store continues growing. I gotta say, this is a lovely store you got here. Perhaps one of the best stores I've ever seen. Thanks, I guess. If you have a moment, I have a few questions for you. Shoot. It's ironic that you would say that, considering how we're in a gun store at all. I was wondering if you could tell me about this gun that I currently have in my possession. You see, I got this gun off Gun Broker for a million dollars, and I was hoping that you could check it to see if it would fire safely. You see, I'm not a fan of things blowing up in my face, a sentiment I'm sure you agree with. I can probably give it a once over. What's it called? Now that's an interesting thing that you just said. You see, I would think that you would know about this gun already, as it is a very iconic M1 Grand used by the United States Army in World War II. You must have just forgotten it because you're so new to the profession. Yeah, I guess so. I told them when I was put here that I didn't know that much. You say you were placed here, but how recently was that? Are we talking months, weeks, years? I'm trying to get a good grasp of this. Man, why do you even care? All you seem to do is ask questions. Why don't you go browse or something? You're right, you're right. I'm souring the mood with my product. But, before I go, I need to, ju I need to know just one more thing. Would you happen to recognize this? That is one of my business cards. You can tell by the fact that the script is Cillian Rail and that it is printed directly on a bone. But how do you even have that? Would it interest you to know that I found this at the scene of a kidnapping? Kidnapping? I've never done anything that extreme. Are you sure about that? Because my friend here says he lost his mouse friend after an individual matching your description invaded his house. After searching the house, I came across your car, and after some extensive tracking on my part, I find you here, sticking out like a sore thumb with a very mouse-like compatriot at your side. It all seems a bit suspicious. That's not even including the individual you say placed you here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Why is that? Did I strike a nerve uh, about the kidnapping bit? Or is there something else going on here? Something involving your transition from home invader to humble shopkeep, perhaps? Regardless, I will continue to look into this and mark my words. I will not stop until I get answers. Ha, I cannot see or hear anything. It would be inconvenient if you continued down this path. Why don't you resume your original placement, and we can all go back to how it was before this incident. I think I'd rather not. Field work is more my style. I think I'd go crazy if I was cooped up in an office all day. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> muda. Let any fish who meets my gaze learn the true meaning of fear, for I am the harbinger of death. The bane of creatures subaqueous, my rod is true and unwavering as I cast into the aquatic abyss. A man, scorned by this uncaring earth, finds solace in the sea. My only friend, the worm upon my hook, Wriggling, right, struggling to surmount the mortal pointlessness that permeates this barren world. I am alone. I am empty. And yes, I fish. Huh, what was I doing just now? It's so sad Steve Jobs died of me. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Ligma Balls.
リセットの時が来た This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.